Welcome back to Gemini Blessed TV. Today we'll be showing our picks for the top 10 generations of the legacy actors that we miss. If you're new to the channel, we publish new videos every week, so hit the subscribe button for more exciting content. Number 10, Pabalo Mavuntla is Gerard Moroka. The actor joined Generation of the Legacy in November 2018. He played the role of Gerard, a misbehaved cousin of the Moroccas who takes up an internship at Ezweni. Audiences could relate to Gerard's eagerness and hunger for success. We watched him transition into a mature man who became a father and a hustler whose dream of becoming a film producer was realized in the end. His character left Generations The Legacy in 2020 after two years on the show. You can have the damn car. In fact, take everything. You can fire me too. You're not getting my child. Number 9, Zoe Mtiani is Zita Langa. Zita was a sucker for love and success. She dated everyone from Smanga to Tau and then Jake Mabaso himself. Unfortunately, she reportedly got fired from the Soapy in 2020 after four years on the Soapy. Reports claimed that the actress had broken up with Rapulama, who played the role of Tau in real life. This led her into depression and she started abusing alcohol and showing up late for work and drunk which led her to being fired. <laughs> Number 8, Asanda Foji as Simpure Moroka. Asanda Foji was part of Generations The Legacy since its reboot in 2014. She played the role of Simpure Moroka, Mazui Moroka's long-time girlfriend. She was supposed to get married to him, but she was cheating on him with his brother's manga. This made her feel so guilty that she took her own life. In real life, the producers were actually not impressed by her acting, so they decided to cut off her character after only a few months on the show. Number 7, Chi Mende as Wandile. The actress made history by becoming the first woman to play the role of a male on Generations The Legacy. She joined the show in 2015 playing the role of Wandile. Her acting skills were so unique that fans were shocked to find out she was a woman in real life. She left the show in 2019. Generations The Legacy's communications department opened up that the actress was not fired from the soapy, neither did she underperform but they just didn't see her character going on. This means they basically thought her character was now redundant to the show. Number 6, Mopi as Smanga Moroka. The actor joined Generations The Legacy in 2014, playing the role of Smanga, brother to Mazui Moroka. Smanga was a strategic management leader who stirred up the success of Ezweni. He left the show in 2020 after 6 years, but he didn't state any reasons for his departure. However, there have been reports that the actor might actually be returning to Generations The Legacy in 2021. Number 5, Tuli Pongolo as Namtla Diale. Namtla Diale was the daughter of Lucy Diale and Jake Mavaso. <laughs> Yo, that's like... No way, seriously. Mm. She was part of Generations The Legacy for four years from 2014 to 2018. She was a fan favorite on the show and she's one of the most talented and beautiful actresses in Mzanzi, so would definitely be glad if she made a comeback. Jack is my father. Number 4, Rapulana is Tau Muhale. Tau Muhale is a veteran when it comes to Generations. He was part of the show way before it became Generations The Legacy and by the time he resigned, he had been there for 18 years. 
The producers were not expecting him to resign and they actually thought he would renew his contract for another three years. However, it turns out they actually had been approached by the Fergusons with an offer he couldn't refuse, so he left Generation the legacy for Musan's Magic's The Queen. Okay. Once, twice, three times, damn it, thou yeah! Number three, Connie Ferguson as Carabo. Just like Tau, Karabo was part of Generations for generations. Connie Ferguson first joined the show in 1993, playing the role of Karabo Moroka, the wife of Tau Muhale. She then returned in 2014, but the return was short-lived as Connie directs all her energy and creativity towards the family business, Ferguson Films. She left the show in 2016 after only two years, but this time it was probably for good. Number two, Vuyo Dabula as Gaddafi. It used to be hard to imagine Generations the Legacy without Gaddafi, but I guess we're getting used to it. He joined the show when he started in 2014 and left in 2021. Reports initially claimed that the Generations producers asked him to choose between the SABC One Soapy or the Netflix show Queen Sono and he chose Queen Sono. Queen Sono has since been cancelled by Netflix, so we hope this means he might return to Generations in the future. Number 1. Jack Mabaso Jake Mawaso is arguably the best TV villain of all time in Mzanzi television. He returned to Generations in 2015 and he never failed to keep us entertained. When a storyline involved Jake Mawaso, you couldn't leave the TV, not even to go to the bathroom because of the suspense he left. His character was killed off in 2021, but he's come back from the dead before, so we'd be glad if he faked his death again. Which generation the legacy actors do you miss the most? Comment down below and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more exciting videos.